Ready for school, Steven? Yeah, Dad. Steven! What's going on here? With the five o'clock shadow? Huh? What do we talk about shaving? People are gonna find out about the growth hormones if you don't keep up with your shaving. You're 10 years old, Steve. You're not supposed to have a full beard. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. You're gonna get Dr. Rogers' license taken away. Things I do for you to give you an advantage on the ice. God. It's just the aftershave you gave me, it, it really burns me. That's part of being a man, Steven. Yes, sir. Every guy goes through that. Most guys, usually when they're about 18, 19, you were four years old, so it's a little different for you. Nonetheless, let's make sure we're having a good day at school here, right? Yeah. Okay, how long are classes? I think they're like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. What a good opportunity for you to zone out your teacher and visualize your shifts for your games this weekend, right? Yes, sir. Maybe jot some notes down, how you can better yourself out there? Yes. Mm-hmm, Alrighty. Hey, Dad, um, speaking of notes, um, there's this girl at school named Jessica. I really, really like her. She's really, really nice. And she um, passed a note to me and said her birthday parties on Saturday. And I know we have skills on Saturday usually, but I was wondering if just this once we could skip it. <laughs> ah, Dad, what the Where's heck? Where's your head at, Steven? What did I say about women? You let her pass you a note, and you're basically letting her pass you chlamydia. Fuck! What's chlamydia? It's aside the point, Steven. You need to focus on hockey, not girls. Do you even want to make the elites next year? Of course I want to make the elites. Okay. Well, you heard coach at the last player parent meeting. I know, just because I made elites last year doesn't mean I'm gonna Not make them this year. Not mean you're gonna make it next year. I know. Dial in here, Steven. Okay, you're right, Dad. Do you have any idea how much I sacrifice for you to achieve my dream? I mean, your dream of making the NHL, okay? You think those hormones are cheap, Steve? No. No, sir. Practically going broke over those to give you an edge out there against the other players. 10 years old with a full beard. You're blessed. You look like you're 37. Act like it. You're right, Dad. Like you said, I need to act the age that I look. Exactly. I was wrong. I had a lapse in judgment. I was thinking with the wrong head. I need to focus on the dream. You're and damn right. When we make the NHL, then you can entertain the idea of having a girl in your life. Yes, sir. Maybe have one of those blonde wives that all the NHL guys marry. You know, they all look exactly the same. I don't know if they're all sisters or what it is, but they all, you maybe have one of those when you make the league, okay? Until then, you're married to what? Married to the game, sir! And if the NHL doesn't work out, what's plan B, son? Plan B is what you would have given mom if you were gonna settle for anything less than excellence in your son. That's right! Now shut your trap hole back there, take your phone out, and go over the game footage from last weekend. Okay, I put it in the drop box. Yes, dad. I don't wanna hear another peep out of you the rest of the ride to school. Time for you to dial in. Scouts are watching. Yes, Dad. And what do you want from Duncan? Um, hot chocolate. Alright. Guys, welcome back to Going Offside with Pat Shea, my sketch comedy show. And of course, I am drinking pre-workout on the rocks. It's my beverage of choice, and if you're not drinking pre-workout on the rocks, you're stupid. Alright, so. This here on the screen is today's scheduling. As you can see, there's four more coming. That was the hockey dads in the car. I'm pretty energized by this hockey dad character at the moment. I have a lot of fun with it. Because it's like a little bit different, you know, I usually am playing that, like if I'm playing the hockey player, I'm kind of like the douchebag, fuck boy, drunk party guy, like the cool guy. When I'm doing this dad character, I'm kind of nerdy and it's kind of a fun switch up for me. It's obviously inspired by, you know, dads that I saw growing up, not fully my own dad. Although my dad was a crazy hockey dad, but he wasn't like that. He did make fun of me though for watching Batman instead of hockey. <sighs> watching Batman again, Pat? <laughs> us boys up here in the living room are watching hockey tonight. There's three games on if you want to join us. You know, Batman also plays hockey. No, he doesn't, Pat. He does sometimes. In Batman and Robin, there's this really terrible scene where they're skating on the ice and Mr. Freeze comes in and he starts freezing everyone and no, Pat, it is not the same thing, you know? But I kept watching Batman. I used to wish every single birthday that I would become Batman. You know, you do a little birthday wish, you blow with the candles. Every single year, they'd have the candle in front of me, everyone, make a wish, Pat! I wish that when I'm older, I'm gonna become Batman. <sighs> every year, those candles. <sighs> Year after year, 27 candles, 27 years later, and I'm still not fucking Batman yet. Huh? What gives, birthday gods? When am I gonna become Batman? You know, when am I gonna get my little 
My little bat cave. When am I gonna learn the ability to fight crime and just beat up everyone? Know every single martial arts in the world and just never lose a fight, even though it's 17 guys on one. There's guys shooting bullets at my head and somehow they always miss me. No, I want that. I need that in my life. I need one of those robbing guys, the little sidekicks that says, holy smokes, Batman, after everything that happens. He adds holy. Holy everything, Batman, I want that. I want a little sidekick bitch. When is that coming? Should I keep wishing? Should I not keep wishing? Can someone tell me that answer, you know? Anywho, sorry, I get sidetracked a lot, but that's uh, that's what we do here on Going Offside. So, so the next sketch I have, so this is The Notebook, but if Noah was a hockey player. See you got my nudes, <laughs> finally. Send 365 of those bad boys. New today keeps the doctors away. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, Al? I don't know. So we're back to that. Stellar, <laughs> stellar. What about the past couple of days? We had sex 37 times in 12 hours. I know we did. That's like record-breaking stamina by the boy. Those were some of the best shifts of my life. But it was also very irresponsible. Oh, oh, oh. sick. I have a fiance at the rink waiting for me. He's gonna be crushed so when he So you're having an absolute up. sex bendy with me and then you just go back to your mans? Was that your game plan this whole time? I gave a man a promise. He gave me a Stanley Cup ring and I gave him my word. Well, your word's kind of garbage now, don't you think? I mean, we did some freaky ass shit in that bedroom. I don't know. I'll find out when I talk to him. Sick. You know what? Now what? This isn't about you keeping your promise or all that lovey-dovey bullshit. All right, I know what this is about. What's that supposed to mean? It's because he's in the NHL and I'm not. Okay, I'm in the East Coast League shaking it for dollar bills and that's not cool enough for you. You think I'm a clout chaser? Yeah. Oh, I hate you. Oh, well, I hate you more. And if you leave, you're done to me. No longer on the squad. Really? You're gonna leave right now. Really? You know what? You're bored. You want me and you know it. You wouldn't have made love to me 37 times in the last 12 hours if you didn't. Oh, you arrogant son of a bitch. Would you just stay? Huh? Would you just stay with me, please? Stay with you? Yeah. What for? Look at us. We're already fighting. That's what we do. We scrap. We muck it up in the corners. You let me know when I'm being lazy on the back check and I let you know when you're being a pest. All right? Which you are 99% of the time. I'm not afraid to cross check you where it hurts, buddy. Get taped up by the trainers and you're right back out there being a pest again. So what? So it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be real hard. Okay, we're gonna have to get pucks deep, stick to the systems. It's gonna be a gritty battle out there. We know that, we know what we're in for. But I wanna do that because I want you on my line. I want you out on that ice with me forever, banging bodies, scoring goals, wheeling birds post game at the bar. Will you do something for me? Just picture your life for me, 30 years from now, 40 years from now. What's it look like? If it's gonna be with him, coaching your son's youth hockey team together, then go, go. I traded you once. I'm sure I could find a good qualifying offer for you again, if I thought that's what you really wanted. But don't you take the easy way out. What easy way? No matter what I do, someone gets hurt and ends up on the IR for the season. Would you stop worrying about what everyone else wants? What I want, what the coaches want, the GMs, the scouts, etc. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? I don't. No. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? I want you to be a hockey player. I am a hockey player! You want me to make love on one leg? I'll make love on one leg! You think that'll get him going? Oh yeah. Everyone's seen The Notebook, right? I assume, I imagine. <laughs> if you haven't, you're kind of an idiot. And if you're a guy, don't try to play tough with me. Don't try to play tough and pretend you haven't seen the notebook. You know, I ask all my guy, my guy friends, because I'm excited about this skit. I'm like, yo, did you guys, uh, you guys seen the notebook, right? And they're like, uh, <coughs> no, no, what? Guys, stop, like, stop trying to play tough here. Just, dude, no, I haven't seen notebook, but like, yeah, yeah, I know like the scene you're talking about. I've seen like clips of it or whatnot. Guys, what the fuck is going on here? Why are we afraid to admit that we see the notebook? You know, I'm not afraid to admit it. I like a good romantic movie. I get all cuddled up with nobody and watch romantic movies by myself, because why not? Why is it that guys get so embarrassed to admit that they watch The Notebook? It's kind of odd. Anyways, yeah, so this scene, a little miracle twist at the end, huh? Every hockey guy knows that. If you don't know hockey and you're here, then you might be a little bit lost, but that ending punchline was a uh, scene from Miracle in the Locker Room. So up next, 
on the agenda here, it's uh, when you have a one night stand with a gym bro. I'm going into my gym bro character here now. You're damn right I worked out and, pl and trained for this, for this role, this scene. I did curls like four days, the four days prior to this, just to make sure my arms are pumped up. I was doing pull-ups and shit before it. <clears throat> this is my version of if you uh, have a one night stand with a gym bro. You're awake. Great pump last night. Woo I mean, those muscle contractions were off the charts. The blood flow, killer. And listen, my bad, again, for cramping so fast. It's a flaw of mine. Yeah, I mean, you lasted about 30 seconds last night. Yeah, <sighs> whatever, you know, when you have as much testosterone as me, that's a flaw worth having. Uh, yeah, I was expecting you with that much testosterone, you might be a little bit bigger down there. Bigger? You don't think I'm big? You no, no, like. Oh, down there? Psh, whatever, pish posh, I don't care about that. As long as I'm big up here, doesn't matter how I am down there. You know what I'm saying? No. Anyways, you BYOS. Coming, coming bring in. Bring your own shaker. Post pump recovery shakes, duh. Uh, this is my apartment. I didn't bring a shaker into my bedroom. Don't worry, I brought extra. I always come prepared for a pump, always. Anyways, what are you, uh, one scoop, two scoop kind of girl? I'm all set. You're bulking. Duh, of course, my bad. Three scoops it is, respect. Do you Ooh. think I'm fat? You were benching me last night. I'm literally complimenting your sick gains. What are you talking about? When did you bring all of this? I don't go anywhere without my stack. Where I go, the stack goes. I just usually like men with stacks of cash. No, stacks of supplements. I got all the necessities here. I'm talking regular whey protein. I'm talking organic protein. I'm talking mass bulking protein. I'm talking all purpose flour. What? Hydration, which I should have been more hydrated last night. I cramped too early. My That's bad. Not, that wasn't my the bad. Listen, anyways, do you want your recovery shake or not? No, I'm, I'm not hungry. No. It's 5 30 a.m. Do not tell me you're an intermittent faster. I do not date intermittent fasters. Dating. You were not skipping out on breakfast. Okay, I literally I'm made you hungry. breakfast. I'm no. not hungry. After every great pump, go back to you muck food with the gang. That's what you do. It's ritual. Sit tight. I'll get the breakfast. No, no, I got you. Necessary. Okay. Huh? Come on. We are gonna crush our macros. That's like 20 waffles. You wanted more? No. I can whip up a few more. No, 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 no. I'm intermittent fasting anyway. I don't eat this early. No. You, you're faster. You know, I can't date faster. You're not faster. We're not dating. I thought we had something special. No. I just always pictured us mucking waffles together in the morning, you know, like post pump. That wow. we would, now you're telling me you were fast. It's just more food for you? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my waffles in my, in my way and I'm gonna be on my way. Yeah. We could have mucked so many waffles together. It's not a wee thing. And you blew it. Okay. Did you want to get the rest of your supplements? There's a lot, just you left a lot. Keep them as a memory of me. Okay, I don't want that. Bye. I hate Raya. That's a one night stand with the gym bro, just mucking, mucking breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, the other day I was, actually scrolling Instagram. And I came across a post that told me like how good eggs are for you. Like if you wanna be, you know, a man with high testosterone, you need to eat eggs. If you want longevity in your health, you need to eat eggs. So like, I'm all gassed up. I go to the grocery store. I get an abundance of eggs. I eat like 15 eggs. I wake up the next morning. I muck the eggs again. I'm cracking eggs. I'm like five, seven eggs in there. And then I'm scrolling my phone as I eat because you know, I'm a, I'm a phone addict like all of us. And then I come across a post and it tells me how bad eggs are for me. So now I'm panicking. They're like, oh, eggs raises your cholesterol. And I'm like, hold up, hold on a second. I just ate 22 eggs in the last 12 hours. Are eggs bad for me or good for me? You know, so now I'm panicking about my health. I'm looking it up. It's like eggs cause all these health problems. And now I think I'm dying. I'm taking my pulse now. I'm like, fuck, I ate 22 eggs. I gotta check my pulse. I'm taking my pulse. I'm like, fuck, fuck, damn it, it's off. I'm up a beat per minute. I'm up a beat per minute. My life might be on the line here. So now I'm hitting the Googles because I'm panicking. I'm self-diagnosing myself with illnesses. And I hit the web, the web uh, MD or something on the, on the internet. It tells me how bad eggs are. But then the next article tells me how good eggs are. Now I'm, but then I just keep scrolling. And it's, then I realize it's every other article it's saying that eggs are good or eggs are bad for you. And if you actually look up anything, it will say it's good for you. But if you look up if it's bad for you, it will also say that it's bad for you. So then I realize I should just eat anything whenever and wherever I want. So I'm eating ice cream for breakfast and I'm drinking pre-workout on the rocks every day. So fuck you, internet. I'm out here doing my thing, crushing life. 
Uh, yes, that's my breakfast. That's my whole breakfast uh, thing that I have going on lately. And I actually have been eating eggs a lot. Okay, next up on the agenda, it is if a hockey player or when a hockey player auditions for a movie or you know becomes an actor. This is inspired obviously by my acting debut and me kind of you know being an actor online here, the internet uh, com comedic actor, and you know, getting cast into my first acting role. I, I, I mean, I enjoy this concept of putting a hockey player into like the real world after their life, whether it be acting, be a cop, uh, a job, a desk job, or whatever it might be. I think I pioneered this concept. A lot of people have, you know, copied it since, but I love this concept. It's an exaggerated version of myself trying to make it in the world. Because when you're in the locker room and around the boys, you shape this personality and it's this culture of like, it's very bro-y, it's very hockey and you have these, the lingo, and then when you get put into the world by yourself and you're still into this same character because of the way you were every single day and you just are this like misfit outcast. Where in this case, it's a casting director just being super confused by it. Um, so here, let's send it to that. What's up, beauty? Excuse you? me? Come on in. <sighs> you're welcome for having me. Whatever that means. Uh, first, we need to see profiles. Like IG, Pichet, 25, TikToks. No. Profiles. I need to see the front, the side of your head. Oh, am I trying to see the flow? You peeping the flow? Yeah, you know, your wings moving, out? You're moving too fast. Peep them out, man. You're eh? moving too fast. Yeah, I'm okay, you know what? Let's just forget this. Let's just, I, I'm, I heard that you memorized your lines from today. I mean, duh, obviously. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna play prepared. the part of Claire and you're gonna play the part of Trevor. Sweet. Got it? Sweet, yeah, sick. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Trevor, I don't understand what's going on with Let you. Let me cut you off there, Claire. What do you say we get out of here and go muck some grub? That's not the, what, okay. No, the line is, let's get some food. That's what I said. That is not what you let's said. Let's muck some grub. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? It means what the line means. What do you mean? Okay, all right. What do you mean? All right, you know what, let's, just, let's try it again. From the top. Trevor, I don't understand what's going on let's with you. Let's stop all the chit chat, Claire. All right, why don't you join me? We'll go muckleberry fin some grub with the boys. Okay, it's a, once a fucking again, it is, let's get some food. That's what I said. No, you did and not say. And now I'm inviting the boys. Huckleberry. Okay, that's not the, that's not the fucking line. It's like Huckleberry Finn. Hey, why are you mocking. talking like you're Canadian? What is this? I'm not, I'm from Boston. I'm not Canadian, buddy. Like, okay, then why do you talk like use that? Use your ears. Use your earlobes. And who the fuck is the boys? The boys. The team, obviously. The hockey what team. team? The what, hockey team. What hockey team? The team. Okay, I this? Mean, this has nothing yeah. to do with hockey. But, well, I figured I'd, you know, add a little character building and my- Okay, you don't get to do that. My character I'm came from fucking... a hockey background. He grew up playing puck. Okay, no he didn't. He did. No, he didn't. Yes, he actually he did. grew up in a nursing home under someone's bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah, with a freaking frozen pond in the backyard. There was no backyard. Yeah. There was a fucking driveway. Yeah, it got slippery in the wintertime, but it's not <laughs> a fucking pond. To each their own, eh? All right, let's go again. Ah, your time. One more fucking time. Trevor. I don't understand what's going on with you. Enough lately. is enough, Claire. All right? Yeah, fine. I fucking banged your sister, okay, but like, who are you? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Can you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to do fucking art up shut here, your okay? Fucking mouth. I'm trying to do art and you're interrupting me. The player's let me not find a fucking my character. hockey player. You have to let me find my character. You know what? I'm done I'm with you. I'm trying to find my character. That's it. You know, I'm done with you, okay? That's it. This is my movie now, okay? I'm in charge here. I'm running the power play. I'm coach now. You listen to me, okay? All right, we're making some changes to the scene here. Now, Pat takes Claire home after his hard-fought hockey game and does sex with her. Everyone loves Pat. That's the scene now. Got okay, it? that's not no, happening. That, quiet on set, please. Okay, sound, speed, rolling, and action. One of hockey player auditions for a movie. There we go, there we have it. Yeah, that, uh, that was a fun one. I, I enjoyed that one. I filmed that with CJ Howie. Uh, he's a reoccurring guy for me. One of my good friends, he's up in Portland. He makes his own, uh, comedy sketches too and he's he has one released it's a sh comedy short film that i actually co-starred in with him called adopted at 28 if you want to check that out over on his channel um anyways yeah so th I, that was a that was a fun one for me as you'll see like obviously there's you know three hockey related skits in this i will always stay true to that part of my life you know it's where it, where like i said where i came from what i know best so definitely won't ever fully go away from making hockey characters but i will involve more and more like non-hockey stuff to you know to show that i can do it and because i enjoy doing stuff away from hockey too so like the gym bro one in this one and this next one is sort of two even though it was a deleted scene from pucked up third man in i might have two hockey ones two non-hockey ones in in an episode of this or definitely i want to mix it up i want to mix it up i don't want to just be a one-trick pony and only do hockey stuff or only do the hockey bro character 
So yeah, this next one would be when you have to give her a ride home the next day. And there's like a real awkwardness because now you're sober. Like you had a hookup, you were drunk and you do whatever stupid things, you say whatever stupid things, and then you wake up the next day and you're like, you know, whether it's regret or just awkwardness because you're sober and you're like, what did I even say? I don't even know this person. And like that type of, that type of awkwardness humor. And I, I think it's really funny and relatable for people. <sighs> so, uh... Good, uh, good shift. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, good night. Good. Uh, I don't think I've ever, like, talked to you sober. No. Or, like, when we're not doing sex, sex at three in the morning. Yeah. This is weird, right? It's a little well, it, it, weird. It, it, yeah, it's a little weird. It doesn't have to be weird. Like, we can, let's just get to know each other, maybe. Like, what, what do you do? What do you mean? Like, other than have sex with me like do you have any like hobbies or like job do you or? think this is all i do like i just sit around waiting to hear from you is, is it not oh my God. i'm sorry is that so wrong of me to assume that that's not like the highlight of your life yeah uh -huh. the highlight okay i don't know I'm, i don't okay. do this okay i've never i'm usually gone in the middle of the night okay right no i'm sorry i'm <laughs> sorry you're trying here why don't we try saying something nice about each other that's like not physical yeah. you start sure um ah ah sometimes you almost make me laugh oh, it, uh, thanks yeah okay uh, uh, your turn you have a nice boob boob boob, boob. singular I'm gonna be honest, like the left one has like that little birthmark on it and it kind of scares me. It's like a little bit weird. I don't know, they're not equivalent boobs, okay? okay I can't so, say you have nice boobs, it's a singular boob. So you know about the birthmark on my boob, but you don't know anything else about me, that's great. Maybe our zodiac uh, signs don't uh, line line up in the in the solar system or something, maybe that. That could have a lot to do with it. I don't even know what that well, means. Well, you're a fire what sign. What have you turned me into? I don't even know what that is. As a Pisces, I expected this out of you. A fire this sign. Is so because this is just fire sign behavior this all is, around. I don't even know what to do with my hands right now. I just feel awkward. Like they're try, just try in the steering. way. You almost okay? Hit yeah, that yeah. Kid. No, yeah. Driving the car. Yeah, Smart just, move. Okay. Um, straight forward. We're okay. Let's just keep things physical between us, okay? Because clearly we can't do this thing. Okay. We'll just. I will call you. At, Good idea. Text you. I'll Snapchat you. I'll Snapchat you at three in the morning. And Snapchat. Do you that, have my phone number? Nope. I don't need it. Let's just stop talking. We'll just, I'll turn on the radio. Yeah. Okay. What? what is this? This is my playlist. This is my playlist. I've had enough of you, okay? You sit in silence <laughs> on the way. Sit in silence and do not speak, okay? Do not talk to me anymore. is the fifth and final sketch of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed these. I enjoy making them. I'm trying to just find a balance here. Try to not overwhelm myself by doing too many and too much. Like I'm really trying to go at like a sketch per week pace. So I'm trying to find a good balance where my creative juices stay, stay flowing and hot. Where like, you know, I see these people online and then some get rewarded, which is fine, but like just flooding you know, f three, four, four videos in a week and it's just the same thing and they're not getting better. Or and like I've, I've experienced where it's like, if I'm trying to do four videos in a week, the quality goes down and it might not be as funny. It might be like four subpar videos versus making one like banger that's hilarious and putting my focus there as the ideas come naturally and it's never forced. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. I'm gonna just go at a good pace where I'm high on energy creatively and each one's gonna be hilarious versus trying to rush and just put out quantity like Gary Vee. Like that's one of the, I love Gary Vee, but one of the things I question, it's like, he's like, post, 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 post. But it's like, okay, but if it sacrifices the quality, then you're not gonna get rewarded. In my opinion, that's how I think it. So I hope you guys can respect that or appreciate that I'm, you know, I'm putting, putting all my energy into each one of these and taking my time with it to make sure that they're funny and, and up, you know, high quality. I believe quality over quantity here. But yeah, this is gonna be a thing here going forward. I'm, I'm gonna be committed to this, this setup or strategy, unless you guys vote that you want, you know, just a sketch per week posted on a solo without this part. But I, I, I think I think this is enjoyable at least. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan going forward here for the foreseeable future until I can 
I'm writing a, a series right now where I want to film like, like I did Pucked Up and I did um, the high school hockey parody senior year. Those are really, really fun for me. I really enjoy it, the whole process, like bringing my friends in for a week or whatever. But what I want to do is create like five episodes of a series. I don't want to give too much information of what it is yet, hockey related, where it's like a show and there's five episodes, five weeks in a row, high quality, you know, 20, 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes long, like a TV ep episode. Then I'd be able to pitch it like, and I can do a season I don't know, every six months or every year, what, like maybe I do one a year, but it gets longer as the funds go up or maybe it gets picked up. You know, that's what I want uh, out of it. But that's, you know, that's my strategy here going forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the sketches I, as much as I enjoy making them. And uh, I will see you next month on the next episode of Going Offside with Pat Shea. Thanks for tuning in. It's a